Hey guys, welcome to your daily mobility flow. Hope you got your coffee. Oh, you needed that. And uh, tea or both or neither, either, I don't really care. Let's move on, start stretching so I don't screw up so bad like yesterday. We're gonna start with your hips. Get your groin open a little bit so we're gonna let the kind of ground sink your knees apart. I like to do this for my elbows, but you can stay here if you want. Either way is totally fine. I just like to be lazy and relax. So I'm gonna come here, kind of walk my hips forward, rock them forward and then rock them back. And that sitting back is gonna kind of open up that stretch. So I'm using the top position here to set my knees, rock it back to open. Should be called the can opener. It's not really like opening a can because it's back and forth and not, you know, circular, but that feels like a good, good thought. Um, ankle position is totally up to you. If you want to be out here in this more like frog style position, that's fine. Uh, I don't love that angle on my knees. So I like to keep my toes tucked and my feet uh, together. Like my big toes are actually touching right now. I don't know if you can see that or not. We're just gonna sit here for about a minute, minute and a half, just kind of work the hips open a bit before we move into our next stretch. Play around a little bit while we're here. Sometimes, you know, I go searching for things and I don't find anything. That's like a, a new angle or a new stretch, but it's worth it. Uh, toying around with all right now that your hips are nice and open let's relax out of that give it a second and then we're gonna go straight into our straddle over the top so remember hips are I'm set my feet wide and then I'm gonna use the ground to kind of drive my hips open and you should probably feel it move down from the groin into the a little bit lower portion of the leg and we're gonna work side to side so I'm gonna work down towards this leg, my left, and then I'm gonna reach over for the other one. And we're just gonna kind of ping pong, slow motion ping pong back and forth. I'm not gonna to try to attack my QL low back today, but you can by like reaching this other arm across this way. So this is my left, like trying to come over here. I can get into that low back. I'm not gonna aim for that today. We do a lot of back, low back and uh, upper back yesterday. So I'm just gonna stick with my kind of groin openers. Nice. Back and forth, a couple more reps. get down to the middle for about 30 seconds before we switch it up. Nothing too fancy here today. People don't like it, but sometimes you just got to put the work in. And I don't mean people like you, you're obviously here and you're doing this, but the number one thing when it comes to getting stronger, getting more flexible, fitter, leaner, it's consistency. Consistency is the most important thing. So it's easy to look at, all right, let's rest. Look at this and like, ah, we're doing the same stuff all the time. It's like, that's exactly what makes it consistency. If we're just doing random cr crisscross, we're just doing random stuff every single time, it wouldn't be consistent. I'm not saying that we can't introduce new things and hopefully we do, you know, maybe one new thing a week two new things a week, but that would not be consistency. And you would be hard pressed to really make progress by you know, constantly doing random things. So it's better to find you know, 10 stretches that you are willing to do and that you'll really do and that hit everything that you need to hit and then actually do those consistently. Switch up your legs. I really, really like this crisscross for the hips, but 
never gets along with my knees when I spend too much time here. Um, personally. So I try not to sit in this a ton. Let's get back to that first one. I'll hit these both sides one more time. I'm actually drinking coffee today. And it is actually almost four o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm realizing right now that I actually forgot to turn off the mic for my G-O-O-G. L E H O M E up there because now if I switch, if I say something the wrong way, like hey, blah blah blah, it'll come on and that will be distracting. And I say that as I'm literally distracting us by talking about it, but anyways, we'll just be careful to not say the secret code. All right. Good. All right, leave one in, take one out. And we're gonna switch up back and forth on these. Play around this, this leg position is not super vital. If you want it in real tight, we're going for this leg. If you want to kind of relax it, that's fine too. But you might actually find a different foot position here. You might change it a little bit. I have a hard time sometimes with like a butterfly stretch. When I was in college, Let's change sides. I took a volleyball class my last semester. Um, being a extra science major, we had to have a certain number of like activity classes. Um, and I still needed to do one for my major. So I took volleyball and I played volleyball in middle school. So it was like super fun, really great. Most everybody doesn't really have any clue what they're doing. And uh, in one of our games, Switch, one of our games during the season, you know, went up either to try to block a, a ball at the net or maybe spike a ball, probably block because I'm not much of a spiker being, I know being seven foot one, I should be, but for some reason I just can't jump very well. Um, switch. So I jumped up and I came down and a girl on the other team came underneath the net. So the net and then her foot came underneath and when I landed, I landed on her foot. So it should have been clear to land. She shouldn't have come underneath the net. Um, and I rolled this right ankle really bad. Um, and it's never been the same ever since. Um, it just isn't so like this pressure here, just those ligaments on the outside still to this day switch. I can get some pain if I dig in too much or I have a tendency to kind of re-roll this ankle and have never had any more issues with this one. With this one I gotta be careful with. I tend to you know, very minorly roll it probably once a year, just like running in the woods or trail running or just doing jumping around or whatever. So gotta be kind of careful. So that this doesn't really get along with me. Like this literally like bothers my ankle. Like if I were to lean forward because because then I'm gonna be getting this ground pressure up, it's gonna put that torque in the ankle. So I can either kind of take them out, but I don't get to stretch the same way. Same with like pigeon. When we pigeon. Um, in fact, let's do some pigeon. Let's let's open up those hips. I know I think it's like three days in a row with pigeon, but let's spend a little extra time here today. But like here, if I wanted to do this like elevated, which is a pretty good stretch, like a foot elevated pigeon where you use a bench or a box and you prop up this front leg and then you can kneel or stand, I have to hang my foot off the edge of the box. Because if I don't, when I try to lean forward towards it, then I get that pressure there. And my, when my ankle tries to go that way, it still hurts to this day. Man, we've done this two days in a row and I still feel like I really need this. Hey, I guess that uh, goes back to our, to our lazy switch. Goes back to our consistency work. Um, I probably pigeon every day actually. Maybe if I don't do it in the video, it's usually on purpose because I'm not trying to bore everybody to death with the exact same three stretches every time or whatever. 
but I probably pigeon, you know, a minute to two minutes per side per day. I mean, at, at least once, sometimes more than once, just depends on the exercise day. Usually less the more I'm exercising, switch. But uh, especially when I'm you know, like on a rest day, my kind of glutes and hips tend to get pretty tight pretty quick. And so I probably nine out of 10 days I'll do this, even if it's not in the video. Um, and even if it is in the video, sometimes I'll do it extra. All right, switch. <clears throat> do it on the bed, like before I, before I get in bed at night, like the elevated that we were talking about. So I'll like prop up my leg on the side of the bed and do like an elevated pigeon, hang out there before I get in bed or things like that. Just try to open up my hips a little bit. Rest. All right, let's finish with just a touch of upper body. A touch of upper body today. And what we're gonna do is use a stool or something. I'm gonna do this for today. Pull this bad boy out. This thing's so much heavier than it looks. Oh, it's got about 30, 35 pounds. We're just gonna hands on top. And we're gonna relax. You may wanna use like the arm of a chair or a cushion or stack up a bunch of pillows or just use your couch. But either way, we're gonna have thumbs touching. And just try to relax down into it. If you can't get low like this, then just use a little higher elevation. You can even do this from a standing position if you want or a tall kneeling position. You don't have to be in that low kneeling, but I want you to push away the, your lats our shoulder depressors and and they bring the elbow to the body so they bring the shoulder down elbow towards the body so that's where i get that full of lat contraction is shoulder down elbow to the body which is why when you like lat pull down you want to drop your shoulders and squeeze the elbows to your side but in order to stretch them i need to do the opposite of that because i'm trying to stretch so i want my shoulder elevated and my elbows away from my body so i'm elevating by pushing my shoulders out Try to keep your thumbs above your pinkies. So just gonna roll your hands so your thumbs are up a little bit. And then we're just gonna relax into that again. You can go tall kneeling here, or you can just kind of child's pose it. Either way is fine. Kind of play around with your ankles. Like right there is my, right there. That's my biggest lat stretch. Remember that game from elementary school? Thumbs up, seven up, or something like that, where you put your thumb up and you had to close your eyes. All right, we're gonna do one more. This time we're gonna go elbows on and kind of sink through. So my elbows are up, and I'm just gonna drop my chest down into that stretch a little bit. If you wanna do one at a time here, rotate and then kind of sink in. That's fine if you wanna do them both at the same time good either way whatever helps you feel that stretch find the stretch find your angles that's the important part this one can be kind of hard to get into sometimes if your head's too big like mine or if you haven't gotten a haircut in three months because of quarantine but either way that is our mobility flow. Thanks for being here. I, I appreciate you guys. Slow down a little bit. Thanks for stretching. Hope you feel better. If you do, click the like button, click the subscribe button if you haven't done that yet. And if you want YouTube to tell you when I post a new video, you can click that little bell notification. They'll send you an email or a notification in your YouTube when you sign on. But totally your call. Thanks everybody. See you later.